Hi guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. I'm really excited. What we're going to be doing today is doing some fall coasters using Cricut's infusible ink. So I already have design space loaded here on my computer. So for a new project, go to the circle with the plus, or you can go to the right corner where it says new project. It really doesn't matter which. And that will take you to your canvas. All right, we'll just go over here to the left hand side and click on images. All right, then we're going to go right top corner to the search box and just type in fall. And this is going to bring up some beautiful fall designs. They have this pumpkin, but I didn't want to do that one. They have so many beautiful sayings. I just love them. I started to do this pumpkin, but then I thought, well, I think, and look at these trucks. Oh, I love it. Um, but then I thought, no, I think I can find one I really like. And I love this pumpkin spice everything. It's just, I'm so ready for fall. <laughs> okay. But it is so hot here. All right, so I'm going to do this pumpkin right here. I think it's that one. No, I'm going to be doing this pumpkin right here. I think this will be so cute, okay? So it is, you do have to be an Access member to get this because it has a little A. So I'm going to click on this. It will put the green box around it. Then I'm going to the right bottom corner, Insert Images, all right? And that will put this on our canvas and we'll just drag it up here. Now, to find out the size of the coasters, I really wasn't sure. Um, so what you can do is you can go to images. Then you can go right top corner and just type in coaster. And here's all these beautiful pre-made coasters. They have the square and they have the round. So if you want to know, hey, what size would that coaster be? Click on it, insert your image, and it's going to tell you right here. Let me zoom in. It's 3.5 by 3.5. And you can also see that up there. So, okay, now we know that. And you could use one of these if you just want to make regular coasters. But I'm going to take my X and exit out of that. So I'm going over here to the left-hand corner to Shapes, get my circle. Okay, and I need to go up here and unlock this. So go where it says Size. There's a little lock. Unlock it, and then... For the width, we want to put 3.5, and the height, we want to do 3.5, and then we want to lock this back. Now we have the correct size, and I usually just change this, so um, I like a brighter thing to look at. So now we can take our pumpkin, move it over here, and it automatically goes behind it. So if you go to the top, where it says arrange and hit send to the front, there's your pumpkin, all right? And you can center this, you know, by going to, uh, you know, getting both of these together like that and then go to a line and hit center if you wanted. But see, to me, that doesn't really look like it's centered. So I'm just going to move mine around till I visually like my pumpkin where it is. Let's see. I think I like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this, now I was going to make four coasters, but you have to be very careful when you take your coasters out. It said cut, so I took my um, scissor blade and just scored it open and I scratched one of my coasters. So I'm only going to be able to do three. So be very, very careful. Now, if you look in the layers panel, it's all cut, and that's what we want. So I'm going to duplicate this 
pumpkin right here. So you go up here to the layers panel where it says duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. If you wanted four, you would do four. Now I don't need this circle um, anymore because I just wanted to see how big my pumpkin needed to be. So I'm going to X out of that. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is just put my three little pumpkins here and design space will put them on my mats. So now we'll go to make it right top corner. It's sorting them onto my mats. Okay, now you'll see I'm going to have to have two mats because, and I want to move this down just a little bit because I don't want it to be right up against that edge. I like to have a little bit of space in between. And I could go up a hair more. Let me see if I can zoom you in. It had it really close. I don't want to waste my infusible ink, but I don't want to, you know, ruin it either. So anytime you're dealing with infusible ink, make sure right here where it says mirror, mirror your image. Okay. And then right here on mat two, you want to mirror those images. And I think they're going to be fine. Okay. So now all I have to do is go to continue right bottom corner. My machine is connecting to my computer. And I do have that explore air too. Okay. I have my dial on my Cricut set on custom and that's why this is popping up. So if you click browse all materials and just type in infusible then infusible ink transfer sheet will come up. You click it and it puts that little check and if you want to be able to find it easier just make it a favorite then you can find it by clicking on that little star. Okay, once the check's on there, just go to the bottom right corner and hit done. Okay, now it says right here, make sure mirror is turned on and material is ink side up. I love that it's so user friendly. Okay, now I typically go ahead to my default and just put more. You probably wouldn't have to, but that's just what I've always done. Okay, so the next time you see me, we will be making these adorable fall pumpkins with the infusible ink. We'll cut okay, it. Okay, here is what I've decided to use for my fall pumpkins. I'm going to use a brown stem and this leopard print for the pumpkins to kind of make it look like Maybe they're like a velvet pumpkin or something like that. I really couldn't find any other infusible ink that I thought would be suitable, but I think this is really going to give us a nice fall vibe, okay? Now, you'll also need this Cricut infusible ink transfer tape, okay, because it will withstand up to 400 degrees, and that's what you're going to need for these coasters. Now, here were my round coasters that I loved. And let me show you. It said cut right here. Well, I didn't listen. So I scored it and it put a big scratch through there. So I I probably won't use this one. I might, but not for demonstration purposes, okay? So what you want to do is each one of these coasters comes with one of these cute little um, circles to protect them in between them. So you want to remove that. All right, and there's a very shiny side to your coaster, and then there's a matte side. When we apply this, we want to apply to the shiny side, okay? So, I'm going to get my standard grit mat because that's what you'll need for this project. All right, so the first thing we're going to cut are the stems. So, let me go ahead and take this out of this box. And we'll get started okay when it comes like I've shown you before it comes in this little sealable that seal pack and it's to keep moisture out and light out okay so just snip it and save it because you're going to want to reuse this all right and make sure you don't have any oils or lotions on your hands and it always comes 
with anywhere from two to four sheets of the butcher paper. Like this only had two pieces of the infusible ink. Some contain four. If they only have two, you'll only get two pieces of butcher paper, which you can reuse as long as it doesn't have um, anything on any it. of the ink. Okay, this is going to be so pretty. Look at this. It's like an ombre effect. I love this. Oh my gosh. And it says Cricut infusible ink on the back, so it makes it so simple to know which side you cut. So now I'm just going to put this right down here on my standard grip mat. Okay, I'm going to insert this into the little places in my Cricut and load it with the blinking arrows. Now I'm going to hit the C for cut and it's going to cut my stem. I think these are gonna be so adorable. There's so many things that you can do for fall and winter and just everything. Now if you don't have a Cricut, you could always take um, Google some images that you like and then print them out on your printer on the Avery sticker sheets and then take scissors and just cut around them. Okay, now we're going to eject it like this and we are going to take it, turn it upside down and peel it away from the mat. That's the best way I've found of doing this, all right? Then the next thing we're gonna do is our beautiful pumpkins, okay? We're just going to put this on here. And I could cut it away now, or I can cut away the extra later. And I think I'll just cut it away later, okay? So put that on there, insert it into my Cricut, load it with the blinking arrows. And then when the blinking C starts, hit that and it will start cutting. This is going to be so cute. And I am looking forward to fall. I love fall. It's it's the best time, fall and Christmas. I would have it 24 seven if I could, but I can't. But, um, and I have to admit, I'm getting very excited. <laughs> but if you're not ready for fall, you could always take this and put something else on your designs for your coasters. Or you be ready for fall when you're ready for it. Okay, now it's through. I'm going to eject it. And the same way, I'm going to turn it upside down to remove it. And peel the mat away from the infusible ink. Okay, what we're going to do is weed the setting right here. And to weed this, you just roll it and crack it. Because I want to be able to see my design to see what comes out. Okay, I see it. Okay, so we are going to start pulling away what we don't want and leave what we do want. I think I'm going to snip this edge and hopefully I can get something that will come loose. Here we go. And you just start peeling away, like I said, what you don't want. Which is going to leave you with these adorable pumpkins. Okay, so here are our pumpkins. I think they're so cute. Oh my gosh, that would be a beautiful shirt as well. Okay, and then the same principle right here. Now, I have the nine by nine. Oh, this is going to be adorable. So, 
I'm going to have to cut these apart because they're too close to just put them right by one another. So I'm going to cut these apart carefully. And I'll probably cut some of this off at the bottom because I really don't need all of that. And I'll probably cut some of this one as well. Okay. All right. The next time I see you, we will be putting these adorable pumpkins and their stems on these really cute coasters. I'll be right back. Okay. I have my Easy Press turned on. And I have my Cricut Easy Press heat transfer guy pulled up. And I have it on Easy Press 2. I'm going to select my transfer material. It will be infusible ink transfer sheet. My base is a ceramic coaster and I'm going to hit apply. Now it says it has to be heated at 400 degrees so I have to change this. I have to go up to 400 degrees for 240 seconds. So if you just hold it down it will go up by five seconds. All right, so that is heating. Okay, so we're gonna need butcher paper, our ceramic coasters with the shiny side up, white cardstock, 80 pound or four layers of butcher paper, but I would always recommend the cardstock and your Easy Press mat, and then a lint-free cloth, okay? So I need to wipe my tile with this lint-free cloth. Now I need to cover my mat with the cardstock to keep anything from bleeding through onto my Easy Press mat. And now I'm going to position this on my coaster with the infusible ink side down. So I need to cut down in here deep at the top of these pumpkins so I can get my little stem on there, okay? So I'm going to put this right here on my pumpkin where I think, I mean on my coaster where I think I want it. Then I'm going to put my little stem. I think I could cut a little more off this plastic. And there is some room in between it, so that is good in the design, it's not flush. Okay, and then I'll put that right there. So I know I need to move my pumpkin down some. Just kinda eyeball it. You could measure it if you wanted, but I don't want to. I think this is going to be so cute. Okay, so I have that one on. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to put this on my coaster. Press it down. Put that right there. I love infusible ink. There's so many possibilities and it looks so custom and professional. And then I'm going to put this one. I want to make sure that this design stays on. So that's why I'm going to be using my tape. So I'm just going to put some tape there Bring it around the edge. Same thing right here. Bring it around the edge. Mix this one just. Put this. Bring it around the edge. I don't 
don't want it to move. And I'm also going to put it at the bottom. Okay, so that one's done. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of these just like I did that one. Okay, I have them all taped on here with the infusible ink side down and they're very secure so they won't move. Okay, now it says to put them face down on the butcher paper. Okay, you can either go, so this will be even. I mean, you wouldn't want to put it on there like that. You can either go and put, a, like, since this one is chipped, I don't know. Or you can just do two and then one. So I think I'll just do two and then I'll do one, okay? So now we're just going to raise this straight up, make sure it covers it completely, put it down, and then just hit C and walk away. Now this is a cold peel because this these coasters are gonna be very, very hot. Just think of ceramic dish that you take out of the oven after 400 degrees, it could burn you. So you definitely want to let these completely cool. So I'll be back just as soon as this is about ready to beep and we'll hopefully have some beautiful coats. Okay, this is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. It's just a little warm. So we'll start taking this one off. And these coasters have been infused with something that allows this to adhere to them. <laughs> I tell you, like I said, it never to surprise me how beautiful these are. Make sure you let yours cool completely. Where I didn't, it got just a little bit lighter there, but I love these. And that material is ombre, so it it's lighter on some and darker on some. I love it. Here's this one, and like I said, look at that shine. Now, I was wrong when I told you how to care for these. Um, I looked on the um, heat guide, and it said water or glass cleaner. So don't use the mild soap and nothing abrasive. Here's that one. Here's this one. It's just a little bit lighter. And then here is this one. I think they are so adorable. I love them. These are so easy and so much fun to make. I can only imagine what else you can do with this. I love infusible ink. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.